Ideally, you should look at this and instantly know it's about similar triangles. We're going to have to set up a proportion. The reason I know that is, well, they're two triangles and they look similar, right? So I could do a mathematical proof, but I just see the picture and it just kind of triggers that, right? If I have two triangles, odds are good. We're comparing them in some way. That's just a rule. It's kind of on our list of rules for the SAT and the, and, uh, the geometry specifically. Uh, it's not something that's talked about in that reference chart of geometry rules and formulas, but it's something you need to know. Anytime you see two triangles, you might have to think that they're similar and create a proportion. The reason we can prove that is they both share two angles. They share angle A, obviously, and then because of vertical angles, they share this. So the reason we know for sure the triangles are similar is that they share uh, two angles. And that will help us eventually, but let's just start by putting things on this picture. Remember on the SAT, you're gonna have scratch paper, so you better use it for a question like this. If you don't, you're just an idiot. That's just dumb, be, don't be that lazy. So, okay, uh, YQ is 63. 63. WQ is 70. 70. WX is 60. 60. And XQ is 120. So XQ is 120. What is the length of YZ? So here is our, our mystery. Uh, so when we set up a proportion, we have a lot of flexibility how we do that. So we want to make sure though that we're matching pieces that match. So in this case, I don't think it's that hard. I think it's kind of obvious what you're going to do, but I would start with the piece we're missing, right? The X. Then I would say, okay, well, what is the piece of the other triangle that corresponds with that? And since in other cases, it might not be as clear, let's just go through the way that we would do that. I like to think of what angle is opposite the side that I'm interested in, right? So in this case, if I go opposite X, it's this, this double uh, marked angle here, whatever I want to call it. So I need to make sure that in the other triangle, I am comparing that X to the equivalent corresponding side, right? So I see the double and the 60 on the other side is across from that double, right? So that is telling me that 60 needs to go with X. They, they are corresponding sides. Corresponding sides, an important word to know for triangles. So now we can do whatever we want to get the other set of corresponding sides. But since the X triangle has only one left over, I'm kind of limited. So I got to stick with that. And in this case, okay, the 63, what is that opposite? Well, that's opposite the angle that we don't have labeled. But that's okay because we have an unlabeled angle in the other triangle as well. So that's the 70 and there it goes. It's right across from that X. So those must be the same because there's 180 degrees in a triangle and we know if two of them are the same, subtract them out, it would be the leftovers would be the same as well. So uh, that means 70 is here. And now we have our proportion and just about cross multiplying and dividing. Um, lots of ways you can do it, but um, if we're doing it the way probably we learned in elementary school, we would do X times 70 is 70 X. 63 times 60 is, I don't know, let's figure it out. 63 times 60 is 3780. And then divide by 70 to get X alone. And X is gonna be 54. And that's hopefully the answer. We should always check with uh, geometry that we saw for the thing we were supposed to, right? So YZ, right? It's not like they wanted to get us like WZ or some weird side, so 54 is the answer. but. You know, you, a couple, just to reiterate, you have to look at this and instantly know it's about similar triangles. If you don't, then you haven't really studied geometry in a way where you kind of know what's on the list of possible rules. And number two, you gotta draw this out. You gotta be able to, to draw this. If you try this in your head, you're you're an idiot. Like, you, maybe you got it right, but oh my God, that's really stupid and that's gonna hurt you in other cases. So yeah, use the scratch paper. You get it, you get more. So you can always raise your hand and get more. You cannot do stuff like this in your head. That is what they're hoping for and that's how you lose points for no good reason.